But once the work is done with the pipeline, you get paid, 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 paid. Hello, I'm Bernadette Doyle and you're watching Bernadette TV. And today I want to talk to you about the distinction between hauling buckets or laying pipelines. Let me explain what I mean. When I first started out in business, my number one challenge was getting paying clients. And before too long, I solved that challenge, but now I'd had another challenge and that was time. You see, at that moment in my business, for anything I needed to get done, it had to be done by me. So I wore all the hats in my business. I was salesperson, account manager, bookkeeper, administrator, just anything really to happen in the business, it had to be done by me. And I reached the point where to keep the wheels turning on my business, honestly, it felt like I was running really hard on a treadmill. And if I dead stop, I was just gonna fall flat on my face. So if you can relate, um, stick with me because I want you to know that this is not a permanent condition. There is a way out. And I wanna share with you what really helped me. So around this time, I came across Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. And there's a line in that book that really struck me. See, Robert Kiyosaki was talking about what it means truly to have a business. And he said, if you don't have a business, that you can go away from for three months and then come back to find it better than when you left it. You don't have a business, you have a job. And that was the moment it hit me. I had not created a new business for myself, I'd actually created a job. And I realized painfully that if I added up all of the hours that was going into my business at that time, I was actually earning less per hour than I had been in my old job for my employer. So I knew that something needed to change. And so one of the things that really helped me was to start to make the distinction between hauling buckets and laying pipelines. So let me explain what I mean by this. Let's say you wanna go out and get clients and your method of going to get clients is some form of manual prospecting. Maybe you go to networking meetings, maybe you pick up the phone, maybe you reach out to people on LinkedIn or other social media, but it requires some activity to be done by you. Well, I call that the hauling buckets method because there's effort expended and yes, there may well be a, a result. You may fill your bucket and bring it back, but for you to get that same result tomorrow and the week after and the month after, oh, on, go on, you're gonna to have to keep expending those activities over and over. Whereas if you start to think about, and we'll stick with marketing or getting new clients as an example, if you think about laying pipelines, yes, there will be effort to lay the pipeline, but once the pipeline is in place, that pipeline can deliver you paying clients as often as you want. So what are some examples of a pipeline that you, that you could lay? Well, you could have a pipeline like I do in my business, which is an automated email follow-up system so that when people come to my website and they sign up for information, I have a pipeline, an email pipeline that stays in contact with those potential customers, follows up and eventually brings them to the point of sale. I have other pipelines in the ways of online video or online trainings that also move people from being interested to a paying customer. And did those pipelines set up, take time to set up and create? Absolutely. But once the work is done with the pipeline, you get paid, 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 paid. So my invitation to you this week is to start to look, not just in the area of getting clients in your business, but across your business, are there elements where you're hauling buckets, where there's an action that you're having to take over and over and over. And is there a way for you to turn that bucket hauling into a pipeline, into something that you could create once, but then know that that was gonna deliver the same result without you going out to haul a bucket every single day? So I would love to hear how this episode has impacted you. So feel free to share your comments in the buttons below. And if you've already established a pipeline in your business, tell me more, let's get a conversation going. And if you're still thinking about the pipelines that you could lay down, then absolutely share that too. So can't wait to see your comments. I hope this has helped you and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Bernadette TV.